Again. Can't afford the fancy robes and pricey altars to worship a cosmic horror? Come on down to the crazy cultist's house of discount gods. Check out Cthulhu. He might not have a city at the bottom of the sea, but he does have a van with a sweet painting of a lady fighting a dragon on the side. Why pay full price to worship the king in yellow when you can have the prince in tangerine show up in only two utterances of his name? Dirty floor? Why not worship Yog Mop Top? We even have discount versions of your favorite books. The Necronomicorn might not drive you mad, but has 50 awesome recipes for all you cob lovers. Why read a book about nameless cults when you can get this book about naming your very own cult? Straight from the Dusseldorf Collection, the crazy cultist house of discount gods. We might not have the color from outer space, but we will sure save you green. This episode is brought to you by Muggle Snacks. Muggle Snacks, part of an unbalanced breakfast. High in sugars and low in nutrients, this magical snack will have you wondering, Where did my owl go? Muggle Snacks, for all your non-magical needs. This is GHY News, and we're going live to Bill Fisher on the biggest beam farm in the Tri-Pinto area. How you doing, Bill? I'm here with Ben Appaloosa, bean farmer. How do you get them to grow so tall? Well, with hard work, early mornings, and the body of innocence, and just a little bit of luck and rain, they can grow very tall. I'm sorry, what was that? What? Luck and rain? Before that. Early morning. After that. Hard work? Uh... Oh, and this year, the kidney beans are really filling in. So much so that I say it'd only take a few more kidneys to give us the biggest harvest yet. Kidneys? Yeah, that's why they call them kidney beans. Say, are you a drinker? No. Oh, that's good to hear. I was getting worried. We got all kinds of attractions here, like the refried sling for the kids, the runner bean half marathon's just starting up, and soybean and lentils are gonna be playing. And this here tub of ice. Say, why don't you take a dip in a nap? Rusty, <laughs> I, I like to go now. <laughs> well, it sounds like you're having a good time, Bill. This is it for tonight's news. Tune in tomorrow for more updates for GHY News. I'm Krusty Naples. A new face of horror is coming to Fish Netflix. Tuck in that loose thread or the Unraveler will get you, Jeremy. That's an old wives' tale, Mom. The Unraveler isn't real. <laughs> oh, look at this ominous fog. And I'm being followed by an orchestra playing creepy music. I better take a shortcut through Murder Avenue. Oh look, another loose thread. I guess the big scary unraveler will come for me now. <laughs> Mrs. Jeremy's mom, we found your son's body. He was unraveled. No, that's the fourth son I lost this week. The unraveler. Jeremy too, tuck in that thread. Do you have a loose thread? <laughs> G'day, and welcome to Ray's Clues. My name's Rupert, and this is a show where I try and track down the cunt that slept with me Sheila. This is my sidekick, Pete. You may have expected Pete to be some sort of kangaroo or other marsupial, but I have a court order to keep 100 meters away from any animals with a pouch. Hello! Let's go over the clues we got so far. Firstly, my Sheila was in a good mood this morning. Now before she gets a coffee, she's usually more dangerous than six angry boomers Walter Matilda with some bloke named Rupert. Secondly, I overheard her talking to one of her friends about the big gift she got last night. Crikey, I was blackout drunk at the time. Now, I just found this note written by me Sheila. Let's see what's inside her third and final clue. Dear Rupert, 
I can't believe you remembered our anniversary for the first time in six months. I was so impressed by the ring you bought me, and I hope you enjoyed my gift to you. Winky smiley face. Oh no! I was the cunt that slept with me Sheila! I gotta kick me own ass! Well kids, apparently I turn super romantic when I get blackout drunk. That would explain the one time I woke up in a koala enclosure with a dozen roses and a raging case of comedian. Well, that wraps up this edition of Rose Clues. Next week, I'll search for a cheap and easy way to deal with a diseased didgeridoo. So get on, Pete. Hello. From the studio that brought you NCI Knits and Heel Street Blues comes a new detective series for the 21st century. She graduated top of her class at the academy. You police like you got something to prove, Detective Lady Cop. Just trying to live up to the legacy of my father, sir. He's a reformed criminal genius with a raging case of narcolepsy. Sergeant, I can't work with someone like him. He falls asleep at every crime scene. Hell, he's asleep right now. He's an asset to the department, Detective Lady Cop. It's your job to keep him in check, in a city ridden with trouble. I'm stumped. It's a clean crime scene. There doesn't seem to be any clues. Uh, what? Sandwich. That's right, the sandwich. The victim was known to visit the local deli every day. He didn't show up that morning. Sometimes it's better to fight crime laying down. Comatose. Coming this spring. A full moon. The moon has baffled our species throughout the eons. But there is one truth every young sock should know about the moon once it unveils its full face. We have to keep an eye on our fellow socks to make sure they don't turn into werewolves. Yes, werewolves. A twisted blend of normal everyday cotton sock and the primitive scratchy woolen blend. Do you need a shirt? Who doesn't? Head on down to Mike's Too Many Shirts. Next to Peter's Not Enough Pants. I just never have enough. Need a shirt for that cousin that you have awkward feelings for? Alabama Thanksgiving Special. Need a vest? Fuck you! Too many shirts. We only have shirts. How does it work? Let's talk to our accountant. I have no idea how they make money. It just works. They just have too many shirts. Too many shirts. Now with locations on Moberly, West Moberly, Upper Sackville, Lower Sackville, and Mars. Wedding? We have shirts for that. Funerals? We have shirts for that. Letting your child know that his pet has died? We have a shirt for that. Too, Too many, many shirts. shirts. Are you a creepy clown that stocks the sewers? We have a shirt for you. Serial killer special. Shirts for bar mitzvahs. Shirts for your friends. No matter what, we have too many shirts. Too many shirts isn't liable for physical or emotional pain caused by having the wrong shirt. Previously on Shirt Doctor. Doctor, I think this man has one final word to say. For my final words, I would like to declare I have too many shirts. Mike's Too Many Shirts. Now the chat one mini-mall. Need a shirt? Call 1-800-755-GOT-SHIRT. Coming soon to Fish Netflix. In a world, who is she? She's just a common bottom drawer reporter, sir, sniffing about for a story. I'd like to meet her, where socks are separated by drawers. There's just so much room here. Doesn't it get a bit lonely? An odd pair will come together. Sir, you can't be serious about seeing her again. I hear some of the folks in the bottom drawer have holes. The only hole is the one she left in my heart. And break tradition. It will never work. You're a top drawer sock, and I'm not. Experience the movie event that some guy on the internet rated two and a half stars. And the director's mother called, okay. My son, if you marry her, you will lose the throne. You will lose everything. The only thing I have to lose, father, is my prejudice. The Footprints. Rated PG. PG.